I interviewed Jerry West uh, at the 92nd Street Y a couple of years ago, and um, I had met him, and I had a, been at a dinner party with him, and uh, one of the greats of all time, a great Laker, but his uh, fortunes against the Celtics were not quite as, as good. And I had read that um, he did not allow, when he was playing, did not allow his children to wear any clothing with the color green. <laughs> uh, did it go that far for you? Or no, it didn't quite? go that far for me. And when I was in high school, I, I rooted for the Celtics. I, I rooted for Bill Russell Celtics. I'm sure. Um, he was a great role model for me, and I watched him play and learned a lot of how to play the game just from going to Madison Square Garden and, and watching the Celtics play. Um, they used to have double headers at Madison Square Garden. This is the old garden. The old garden, yeah. Right. So um, the Celtics would play in New York maybe six or eight times, uh, given that they, they would play the Knicks three times, right. and then uh, they might play three additional games against other opponents at Madison Square Garden, and I, I never I never missed, uh, missed those games. Uh, this is great. Uh, put you right on the spot. How many points did you score in your career? Uh, perhaps the more interesting question is, who was your favorite player to play against? In my career, uh, my professional career, I scored 38,387 points. <laughs> um, and the best challenge that I had uh, playing uh, professional basketball, probably the guys that uh, made me work hardest were probably uh, Nate Thurman and Bob Lanier. Yeah. Nate Thurman kind of gets lost in the shuffle in terms of talking about centers from that era. Great defensive center, yeah. tall, agile, understood how to play defense. A lot of guys beat on me and said they played good defense. He actually did it. He made he made me earn my points. I was going to mention it later on, but since we're here, does Lanier ever? Did Lanier ever? You know, say thank you for you know mentioning him in one of the great lines in, in Airplane when you no, when he, you grabbed the kid. Bob is still he still resents a few things because you, know? <laughs> uh, you know his teams were never able right. when he was with Detroit or Milwaukee they were never able to beat the teams that I played on and. I always seemed to thwart him. The guys on his team would tell him, they always called him number two. Uh, and they said, all right, number two, you're getting ready to go against number one. And uh, he hated that. Shocking that he hated that. No, plus, yeah. plus, <laughs> plus I, I, I had, like, secret information about Bob. Bob liked to smoke cigarettes at halftime. <laughs> so I knew that. Um, That's funny. At my basketball camp, they didn't include that as yeah, how, to, right? how to improve your game. So. Uh, I knew that Bob smoked cigarettes at halftime, so in the second half, I made Bob run, and you know he was in pain. I could I could see it, and wow. it, it really affected his game, and he never knew that I knew that. I, yeah. I, I've talked to him about that uh, since we've been retired, and he said, and he was like, "What?" He was, <laughs> he's like, "Geez, well, I should have known better." Yeah. And yet you gave him the shout out in the line on, on airplane. Or the guys. Bob was a good dude, and uh, plus he was uh, he was president of the Players Association for a long time. And right. when I was representative for my team, um, I got to know him real well because we had to talk on the phone a lot. Was there pressure against player reps in those days? Uh, yeah. Well, what are you doing? Especially uh, before we got the the good collective bargaining right. agreements. Uh, you know the the uh, the back and forth between the owners and, and the Players Association. Could at times get very intense. Mm -hmm. uh, when you were an active player, did you discern regional styles of play? And if so, do you think they still exist? That's an interesting question. Yeah, I think so. Uh, I noticed that coming from New York, uh, guys from New York wanted to, to attack the hoop. Right. It's all about athletic ability, how high you could jump. A lot of guys from other parts of the country were better outside shooters. Um, so there was a there was a distinct distinct uh, regional thing. Um, guys from Detroit can play. I <laughs> just noticed that a lot of guys from Detroit come to the league. They can play. They they understand the game in Detroit. They 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 play it very hard and they play it very well. That's interesting. Hello everyone. I spend a lot of time trying to get you guys nice videos. So please subscribe to this page and please subscribe to my second page. The link to my second page is in the description section. Thank you.